Oh, I'm live. I'm live. Hello, everybody. This is Sister Gloria. I've not gone live on, on Twitter for quite a while. I wanted to put some pretties on there, but I couldn't find any. There wasn't any place for, to get to the pretties. So anyway, <clears throat> let me see these buttons. Uh, ask for share, ask for, uh, I guess I could ask for share, share request. Like I said, I've not, I've not done a Twitter for quite a while. Okay, anyway, uh, again, this is Sister Gloria. This, today is December the 20th of 2022. And a very special, spa, special, very special birthday, happy birthday to, to someone. And I believe this person is 70, let's see, 73, I think today. DJ Inster join. Well, good, good evening. Good evening. I'm Sister Gloria. Welcome to my, my Twitter live. And this will always also go to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, Jesus is the answer ministries. It'll go. It'll go to that. I wanted to start this off with with the with the Our Father, like I always do. So welcome to to all, the, and also welcome to all the replay viewers that will see this at a later time. So I'm going to do the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. <clears throat> thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. We are bracing for a major winter storm here in East Central Illinois. A major winter storm. So, pick up what you need, <laughs> and batten down the hatches so what I want to do I want to read the one for yesterday Jesus Jesus first it looks upside down but this is Jesus first all right everlasting treasure this was for December the 19th I might have read it I'm not sure but I'm gonna read it again all right do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust does rust destroy and where Thieves can break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth, neither moth nor rust destroys, and where th thieves do not break in and steal. That's right. We're not supposed to store our treasures on earth. We store them in heaven. We store them in heaven. And the verses to this is Matthew 16, uh, verses 19 and 20. Verses 19 and 20. What are okay? What are are our lives focused on? Are we building a comfortable life with no thought of how our actions affect eternity? Are we disconnected from the realities of this life while searching for the essential for the existential answers to our life's longings? These are extreme examples. God's love is powerful to meet us in the middle, in the middle. He helps with the messiness of our real life problems while building in us hope and a future as we live with kindness and empathy, serving not only our own good, but the good of others. Yes, the good of others. Let's make sure our focus in life is on Jesus, on living like Jesus. This world and its troubles will someday pass away. It will not last forever. How we live our lives here and now will echo into eternity. It is all connected. May we readjust our vision to Jesus and His law of love. His law of love. Yes, amen. If we follow Him in His ways, we are building for ourselves a treasure that cannot be taken away from us. Let us look to correct the temporal with the external, for God is with us in the dirt, but He is also outside of us in eternity. And that's so very true. That is so very true. Okay, Jesus, help me follow you and store up treasures with your love as my source and my goal in life. And this was for yesterday. Everlasting treasure. Taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 and 20. And welcome to whoever this is that, that just joined. Welcome. God bless you. Okay, 
Now, the one for today, and I'm reading Jesus first. The one for today. Run after, run after. Forsake your worries. Why would you say, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? For that is what the unbelievers chase after. Doesn't your heavenly Father already know the things your bodies require? So above all, constantly seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and then these things will be added unto us. Yes. Then all these then all these less important things will be given to you abundantly. And that's Matthew six, thirty one to thirty three. Matthew chapter six verses one. 631 verse Matthew get it out Gloria chapter 6 verses 31 through 33 when we live to fill our bellies only focused on what we can quickly consume we lose the opportunity to build a legacy that will outlast us we don't need to worry about our needs for God is faithful and he will take care of us for my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. And that's so very, very true. He will take care of us. When we put the kingdom of Jesus first and foremost, everything else falls into place. And that is true. You know, and, and we get to wondering, we get to thinking, oh boy, how are we going to go through this? What are we going to do about that? We're not supposed to. We're not supposed to. For our God shall supply all of our needs. All of our needs. Okay, when we live for the audience of Jesus, we find that he is easily pleased. Let's do what he wants us to do and live like he instructed us to live. Like he instructed us to live. There is abundance in this way of life. There is pl plentiful peace, generous joy, more hope than we can muster on our own. Unending love and the security of God's presence. Worry is wasted in a life that is submitted to the leadership of Jesus. Amen. Boom. He will always guide us in constant fellowship and faithful mercy. King Jesus, I give you every care that I have been overly focused on today. I want to rest in the peace of your provision. I know that you are good. I believe that you are for me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I love these I love these devotionals, and my prayer is on fire. I love these devotionals. All right, I'm going to read one more. i got to find my prayers on fire. I think it's... Hang on a minute, people. Sometimes I have to move things around a little bit over here. It should be right here close. I found it, but I'll have to go around the table to get it. That's why I like to keep things close to me here on this table so I can grab what I need. Right. Hang on. Okay. All righty. <laughs> I remember one time we was out at, out at the park and I was reading reading one one of these devotionals and a friend a good friend Victor Martinez jumped on there and he said it set his smoke detector off and they never did figure out they never did figure out what <coughs> they never did find out where what made it go off it wasn't the battery wasn't low or nothing that was funny I'll never forget that I'll never ever forget that he said, you caused my smoke detector to go off. <laughs> oh, my. All right. This one is for De uh, December the 19th. Enduring Faith. Okay, I'm going to read the back of the book. As I am hidden within your, your greatness, I discover your eternal purposes. In love and humility, I bow before you, my awe-inspiring God. All right. Now, if I'm pixelated or anything is wrong, when I upload this to my YouTube channel, Jesus is the Answer Ministries, it'll be okay. And this, again, this is Gloria Drummond, Jesus, and my ch YouTube channel is Jesus is the Altar Ministries. Jesus is the Answer Ministries. 
Also, I have Back to the Altar Ministries, Jesus for Singles, Jesus for Singles, for Singles. All right. Let's see. Enduring Faith. This one was for yesterday, for yesterday. Enduring Faith. They grumbled and found fault with everything and closed their hearts to your voice. Psalms 106.25. That is true. They grumbled and found fault with everything. How many people do you know that's like that? Always griping, always complaining, finding fault with everything, never saying anything good, always everything negative. That is true. Psalms 106.25. Father, drown my doubts and fears with your love. I don't want to test the limits of your mercy like the Hebrews did. They took your miracles for granted. Impatience drove them mad, demanding that you satisfy their cravings because they forgot. Well, there's Sister Yvette. Hey! And Purple Hearts. Yay! Hearts for Jesus. I'm just reading my devotionals. Hearts for Jesus. Yes. Yes. I'll send... Wait a minute. I can't send back hearts. I don't think, can I? No, I can't send back hearts. I've not done one on Twitter for quite a while, so I thought I would. Magnitude 6.4 earthquake rattled. Northern California. But look at the laws laws that they've been passing. And this latest one. Hi. Hey. <laughs> All right. I'll start this one over again for, the, for December the 19th. I'm glad you joined, and I am in the process of watching your video that you did yesterday. I was getting ready to go to bed last night when you jumped on, so I'm in the process of writing, of, writing, of, wa of, of watching that. Okay, this one is Enduring tr Faith. Good to catch you live. Yes, I'm glad, I'm glad you jumped on. Yay. Okay, Enduring Faith. They grumbled and found fault with everything and close their hearts to your voice. And again, like I said, how many people do that? They grumble, they always negative, always finding fault with everything. Never never seeing the good, never never seeing the good. And that's in reference to Psalms 106:25. Okay. Father, drown my doubts and fears with your love. I don't want to test the limits of your mercy like the Hebrews did. They took your miracles for granted. Impatience drove them mad, demanding that you satisfy their cravings because they forgot about your awesome power. I wonder how many times I've allowed my circumstances to wear me down and cause me to doubt. <clears throat> and how many of us does that happen to? How many does that happen to? I want faith that endures to be one of the ones that brings you joy by trusting you. Sometimes, let's see, sometimes I step away from freedom and end up enslaved to fear and anxiety. And yet you come over and over to rescue me from bondage, just as you did with them. You're so patient. You know how frail we are, how easily we fear and forget what you've done. Oh, pretty heart, pretty purple hearts. Yay. Your mercy never ceases to amaze me. Beautiful hearts. Hearts for Jesus, Yvette, dear. Hearts for Jesus. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Help me to recognize you in every season, to be thankful, regardless of what I face, to honor you with absolute trust. And that's so good. Amen. Amen. That is so good. And we're getting prepared for that winter storm. But God will supply. God will supply. He always, he always does. The first round, I think, is coming in Thursday night. I think it's Thursday night. It's supposed to go for two or three days. And we're going to be bitterly, bitterly cold. Wind chill factors to anywhere from 35 to 40 below zero. Yes, so please, everybody that sees this, pray for us. And this will go to my YouTube channel. Jesus is the Answer Ministries, too, by the way. All right. Oh, my. Yeah, it, it's going to get really, really bad. 
They say we could have power outages, and I pray in Jesus' name that we don't, because we don't have a backup generator. I mean, so, all right. Now, this one is for December the 20th, December the 20th. And again, this 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 is a very dear, very special person's birthday, and he turned 73 today. A very special person, Yvette. You know who you know who I mean. This is his birthday. Just show up. Haven't done it. I'm still praying on that. But anyway, the name of this one is Your Love Carries Me. Your Love Carries Me. How he satisfies the souls of thirsty ones and fills the hungry with all that is good. How he satisfies the souls of thirsty ones and fills the hungry with all that is good. And that's Psalms 107 verse 9. And it says I have two on here. Well, welcome. Welcome. I'm Sister Gloria. Lord, you're so good to me. When I was broken and desperate, stumbling in a wilderness of, of misery... You were there in my darkest season. When it seemed I was living in a nightmare, you, your light broke through. Oh, boys, if that isn't true. If that isn't true. When I was broken and desperate, stumbling in a wilderness of misery, you were there in my darkest season. <clears throat> when it seemed I was living in a nightmare, your light broke through. I was starving for something food could never satisfy, and that's true, too. Food can never satisfy. Only, only the, the manna, of the of the of the Bible of the Bible, <clears throat> and of Jesus. A thirst that only your living waters could quench, ravaged my soul. Then you came, you descended the hidden stairway in the sky and illuminated my world with your love. Wow, yes, and He has, He has with me. You satisfied me with your goodness. You came alive in me. That's happened lots of times. Even now your love carries me. Your presence brightens every day. I will lift my hands in unconditional surrender and unceasing praise. My imperfection was swallowed by your perfection. Teach me the ways of wisdom so I may multiply your miracles upon the earth. I will deliver the oppressed and silence the enemy's lies. Yes. I will sing my story of miraculous salvation for all the world to hear. Your mercy remains. Thank you for calming the storms of life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for calming the storms of life. And always thank Jesus when he wakes us up and gives us another day. Always thank him. And that, 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 that's a prayer. It's a, it's a, it's a prayer. Thank you, Lord, for, for waking me up and giving me another day. Blessing me with another day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We go to bed at night. We say our prayer. We, we say our prayers to him. Yes. Wow. These are awesome. I've already read my other one, my Jesus first. I've already read that one. But I want to get on here because I haven't been on Twitter for a, quite a while. I watched a... A broadcast earlier today from Twitter. Very good broadcast, I might add. And uh, <clears throat> so, I'd, like I said, I hadn't been on here for quite a while to do one. So I thought I'd jump on here. Again, blessings and love to everybody. And remember, I'm not that perfect Christian. I'm the one that knows I need Jesus. And what's really weird, this is all upside down, but the cross isn't. The cross is not upside down. See, on my side, these letters are, are upside down. Oh, coffee's good. So, yeah, yeah. I love you all. God bless you all. Again, this is Sister Gloria. And my YouTube channel is Jesus is the Answer Ministries. My other one is Back to the Altar and Singles for Jesus. Combined into one because I can't find the other channel. I've got to learn. I've got to. I don't know what to do about it yet, but I'll. I'll figure it all out. God bless you too, and I'm so glad you joined, Yvette dear. Glad you joined. I've been having a headache. A headache, right through here. Sinus. 
sinus headache. So keep me in your prayers for that because I have to have that heater on out here because it's cold. I have to have the heater. And when it does get cold, I won't be able to come out here at all. I'll have to do my broadcast on the in, you know, inside. So, yeah. So for my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Weeping may endure for a moment, but joy comes in the morning. Amen, Yvette? Okay. Amen. Weeping may endure for a moment, but joy comes in the morning. Yes. So again, keep me in your prayers. Keep us in your prayers as I pray for all of you. Again, to all the replay viewers, I love you all. Blessings and love. We must keep the whole armor of God on, the breastplate of righteousness, the humble of salvation. Keep on the belt of truth, the boots of peace, the sword of the spirit, and the shield of faith to be able to come up against the wiles of the devil because he seeks to, cut, to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And he roams about like a roaring lion looking to whom he may devour. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you because he has many devices he can use. Many, many devices. And most of us know this. Most of us know this. We have to pray for more wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and more discernment. More discernment. Discerning the times. We're redeeming the times for they are evil. They are evil. And like I said, this will be going to my YouTube channel. Jesus is the Answer Ministries. And if it's pixelated or anything is wrong, it'll be okay once I get this uploaded. It'll be, it'll be all right. So, oh. again, this is December the 20th of 2022. Time now is about 7.30 Central Standard Time. And got to batten down the hatches because we've got some major, major weather coming in a couple of days. We've got some major weather coming. So, all right, you guys, be safe. Rest in the arms of Jesus. Rest in his peace and his love. Rest in his peace and his love. Peace that surpasseth all understanding, and lean not to thine own understanding. Be safe. Oh, we will. We will. We will. And you be safe, too. You be safe, too, Yvette, dear. You be safe, too. So I guess until my next broadcast, I, I think I may start doing more broadcasts on here. Because if I do them on, on uh, Instagram, they don't, go, they don't go to my camera roll. Rest in the Lord's comfort. Yes, rest in the Lord's comfort. Yes. So, anyway, I love you. I love you all. Kisses and holy hugs to each and every one of you that will see this replay. And this is Sister Gloria. Sister Gloria Drummond. Jesus is the answer. Ministries. Back to the altar. Singles for Jesus. Ministries. On YouTube. So... Be blessed and not stressed. Be blessed and not stressed. So I love you all. I love you all. So I guess I'll go for now. I'll go for now to my next, again, to my next broadcast. So I'm on Twitch, preaching for Jesus on Twitch. And Instagram, morning glory for Jesus on Instagram. Twitter, I'm Morning Glory for Jesus on Twitter. I remembered it. I remembered it. Morning Glory for Jesus on, twi on Twitter. So, <laughs> alrighty, I'm going to go, you guys. I love you. Thank you for the beautiful purple hearts, Yvette. Purple hearts. Oh, mine. I love purple. I love purple. Ain't God, isn't it God good? Oh, I love those purple hearts. Purple hearts for Jesus. Purple hearts for Jesus. I love it. <laughs> Just for me, purple hearts for me. Yes, and perfect heart and pretty hearts for Jesus. Purple hearts for Jesus. I love those. Those are so pretty. <laughs> All righty. Well, I guess I'll get off of here. Excuse me. I had chili for lunch. Chili. So, All righty, you guys. I'm going. Bye bye for now. Sister Faye, if you see this, God bless you. I hope that you're you're staying that you're you're well and your husband. Chili, yes, yes. 
uh, we had a can of Hormel chili, which we don't really care for too well, but we added uh, diced tomatoes and with a little bit of more, more tomato juice in it, and we had a half a peanut butter sandwich, and that turned out good. It turned out really, really good, and usually I put a little bit of onion powder and uh, garlic powder in it too. It turned out good. It turned out pretty good, so the Lord supplies. <laughs> nice it was good it wasn't spicy it wasn't too spicy so all right i'm going <laughs> bye-bye for now bye-bye yes he does yes he does <laughs>